Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. I'm here on my Iron Man. Uh, I might be changing that name in the future. That's what it's going to be for now. Anyway, uh, I've decided to start the Iron Man series now, and I do have some pretty major plans in the beginning, but um, just know that this account, I'm going to be doing everything. We're going to be going for every boss drop. We're going to be maxing, uh, and I might go for all the pets as well. So without further ado, though, I don't think I need to explain anything more. So uh, let's jump right in. First things first, let's grab my armor, the Iron Man armor. That's a given. And then I think I'm going to go turn on the settings for ranged and uh, mage. You can toggle my ammo equip when I pick it up. And then also the same thing with magic. Beautiful. Um, can I claim these things too? Oh, nice. And then like uh, how I do it on every account, I'm going to try to get some GP quick from men. I'm going to pickpocket up to five thieving because I need to get uh, the level for cakes as well later on. And this money is going to come in handy just a second. Alrighty, so uh, I was just suiciding to the pickpocketing man. We got 350 coins. I actually overstayed my welcome here. Uh, got to eight thieving. Reason for that is I can buy a steel axe. I think here, where's Bob? There he is. I can buy a steel axe here, which I'll be using for Winter Todd, uh, among other things. So that's very nice. It'll be my best axe for a very long time. Now I got to go to Draenor. Hell yeah. 15 fire making. Obviously doing the method where you're at the top of the castle, picking up the logs on all the worlds. Did that so I can skip the regular logs BS. So like I did in my other account, I'm going to be buying wines for my early level food. So I got to, yeah, I got to hop. This is really good early level food if I'm not meleeing, because it lowers your melee. Um, it heals 11, so it's an insta heal. I prefer it over cakes, but I will still get some more cakes, don't worry. Alrighty, I'm on my way to do the stronghold, get my 10k. Got some wines, I got 50 of them banked. Um, and I made a big mistake of, I was trying to get 15 fishing so I can get the fishing trawler uh, teleport, but it's probably faster if I um, just charter to Port Serum using this money and then just do everything I need to do there first. So that was kind of a waste. I do have like 40 shrimp in the bank now. Also, this is probably gonna come up in the comments, so I may as well explain it now um if you're wondering why i'm not doing a hardcore because a lot of people mention like why don't you just do a hardcore if you die whatever you can continue your account if i died on a hardcore no matter where i am in the count i'm gonna see that account as dead i'm gonna not want to play it anymore that's just how i view accounts if the main goal of the account is finished or ruined it's it's done so um i would like to make a hardcore in the future as a side project, but this is like my main Iron Man, and I'd rather, you know, leave it as that. If that makes any sense. Easy peasy, thank you for the 10k. Before I embark on anything else, uh, I'm gonna go buy the Chronicle. That way I can get to um, Varrock really quickly whenever I need to. This is gonna hurt, but I'm gonna do 10 pages. Oh, only three right now, okay. I'll, I'll fill it with 10. Uh, it's gonna be a little expensive, but it teleports you to the Champions Guild if you have no idea. First quest on the account finished. Yes, Monk's Friend. All right, so I chartered uh, from Port Serum over to Port Gazard, and here we are. I did that for the quick woodcutting experience, got me up to 15, so now I can cut oaks, which is gonna be important in just a sec. Beautiful, got 20 thieving. I did that because I wanna grab a few silks while I'm here. So I do need to have one for the arty easies, and then I believe I need a bunch for several quests in the future. So I thought I may as well grab some cakes while I'm at it. Whew, all right, 30 fire making from these oaks south of the uh, arty zoo. Um, I'm gonna continue woodcutting a little bit. It wasn't too bad. Ooh, we got our first bird's nest as well. What are we gonna get? Ooh, maple seed, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Decided to grab uh, 30 woodcutting quick. That way I can cut willows for fire making if I want to um, when I leave this place. But I decided banking all the oaks would be better as well. So I have like a hundred in the bank too. But yeah, that pretty much covers most of the skilling grinds that I'm going to be doing quick before I jump into questing. So now's the time. I got a trillion to do right now. Here we go. Easy. Just got the sea slug done, which is for that sweet fishing 24. But that is very good because now I don't have to use the charter ship to get to Arty anymore. I can just do the fishing trawler minigame teleport, I think, every 15 or 20 minutes. So, um, a good replacement until I get the Arty cloak. Alright, I made a trek over to south of Taibo and I to grab some Karmbwanji. 
so I can feed my future kittens um, and use them for death runes. That's a big um, point that I'm working on right now. Eh, 300 is fine. That'll last a bunch of cats. Plus, when I come back here with higher fishing, I'll get the Karmbonji a lot faster. You know, as I was walking to my next quest, uh, I'm passing through the Trinome Stronghold, and I thought, why not just get 10 agility here so I don't have to make a return trip, and then I can just start the Draenor course when I'm uh, when I'm ready. Oh, shit, I missed it. Got 10 uh, right there. There you go. Woo! Waterfall quest. That actually kind of sucked. I fucked up, and I died during the uh, Mastra part. Um, that never happened. Um, let's ignore that. But yeah, 30 attack, 30 strength. Of course, you all know that. Oh, 200 total level two. Nice. Oh, exactly 200. Nice. So in between these quests, uh, whenever I went to Lumbridge, I uh, started the Restless Ghost and Rune Mysteries quests. So they're about they're both like half done. May as well do them now. Easy game. As I'm going for the uh, arty cape still, I got the Plague City quest done. Now I just got to go do Biohazard, which I'm not a huge fan of. But 15 mining. Always nice. Skip the early levels. Oh, we're finally done with the Biohazard quest. It's a doozy, especially with no teleports. Like, I did this on my other account with teleports. Oh, actually, that's not even the end of the quest. Ooh, scuffed clip. Now we get the reward. Sorry about that. One of the big hurdles at the start. Finish. 22 thieving as well. Not bad. And all this work finally pays off. We get the Arty Cloak. Yes. I'm going to go grab a bunch of them. My friend also got one. Uh, literally as I got it too. So congrats to him on his Iron Man. But yeah, this uh, XP lamp, it works on level 30 skills. And it gives me... I think 2,500 experience. Now, obviously, Herblore would be the best, but there's no way I'm going to get 20, uh, you know, 30 Herblore anytime soon. So, I have a skill in mind on where to put this, but uh, I'm going to have to keep it in my inventory for a while, unfortunately. There's one little thing I want to do first. I was in Varrock for a quest. Thought I may as well go do the Natural History Museum thingy dang. And, yeah, there you go. It should get me, yep, 9 uh, Hunter, 9 Slayer. And now we're done with Gertrude's cat. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, you do get 1,500 cooking. Damn. So uh, I get to choose a kitten as well. Oh, I already have one. Oh, it's the white one. Oh, it's cute. Now that we have that, um, I can start growing my kittens. And once they get fully grown, I'm going to turn them in for death runes while I do scaling and such. Um, because I can get 200 death runes per cat. With the arty easies, it makes it go to 200 from 100. So that was the whole goal there. It'll make way more sense later on why that's so important. But we're going to go and work on Hunter now. And I know technically doing like birdhouses is way more efficient. But there's a big reason why I'm going to do Hunter now. Again, it all makes sense later. Yeah, we, gotta, we have a long ways to go. I'm going to die. Hey again, I am still hunting. And this is a pretty good level. 30. All right. May as well explain myself what the hell I'm doing. You catch the copper longtails one at a time. It takes forever to get to 15. Once you get that level, though, you can start catching ruby harvests, which are these butterflies that run around, and they give you 24 experience each, so it's not too bad. Um, so the strategy once you get 15 is you start collecting both of them at the same time. Also, you can, like, use the ruby harvest to skip the animation of the trap. Once it gets up, you can just release the butterfly, and then you're good. But yeah, this method is going to stay like this until I get to 37, uh, and then I can start doing the prickly kebits right next to this. Um, so you do all three at once. I remember this method. It's fucking insane. But uh, once you get around to doing those, it gets really good XP rates uh, for this level range. I just sidetracked for like a minute straight. I'm sorry. The reason why having 30 is nice is because I can use this lamp now that I got from the RD uh, diaries. Seeing as you have to have level 30 in the skill to use it, uh, and Herblore is like... Uh, you know, I'm not going to get 30 anytime soon, and I have to keep the lamp in my inventory the whole time. I'm going to use it on a hunter just to speed this uh, part up a little bit. It gets me to 31, yes. Almost 32, nice. Later on, I'm going to look at that and be like, God damn it, I wish I had that in Herblore. Well, that took fucking forever. I have the Eagle's Peak quest complete now. Um, yeah, 3300 as well. 
The problem with that quest is I had to go from the Artie Zoo to the uh, Eagle's Peak area like two separate times without really any teleports. I had to walk, like no run energy at all. So that wasn't fun. Yo, so this is kind of cool. I'm in the falconry area now that I have at least 43 hunter. I can do this now. I finally am done with the other stuff. I'm going to be here until 59 hunter, which is quite the trek. That is probably five to six hours. And I'm not really the biggest fan of this place, but I will survive. Here we go. We're so close. Come on. Right there. Oh, I got it. Nice. 59 is done. I spent... All of last night doing this. I didn't even take breaks, man. Oh, But we can now trap red salamanders. Oh, and you birdhouses. That's nice. Um, That's for later on. But time to do some red sallies, which are just so much better. I mean, I was capping out here at 50,000 experience per hour. It got a bit slower because I'm burying all the bones, right? I don't have bone crusher, and I would rather not shift drop the bones. Because look at this. 28 prayer as well. That's pretty good. For free. I mean, I basically got the experience you get from Holy Grail for free. All right, here is a huge time skip. You bet your ass I just got 74 Hunter. Hell yeah. So, um, yeah, I haven't recorded since 59 uh, when I started Red Sallies. Once I got up to around 70, I switched to Black Salamanders because they're obviously a bit better. I was, um, if I was paying full attention, it was around 110k experience an hour here, which is really good. Uh, that was a lot of time sunk into Hunter so far. Damn. That's all I've been doing since I started. Uh, anyway. With 74, I can now catch Ninja Implings, as you can see, which was the plan all along. I think I did explain we're going to be going and catching Implings for money so I can start some fishing and uh, other things like that. So uh, let's go do that. So the plan is we're going to be selling the items to general stores uh, from the Magpies and the Ninjas. I don't know if I should sell that. That's probably a really useful item. No! I just... There's a dragon impling! That's the second one I've seen on this account. I actually saw one. I, I couldn't record it because I got away really quick. But I saw one uh, while getting falconry up. Oh, dude. Oh, congrats to you. That's probably a bot. Another dragon. I am just getting baited so hard right now. Yes, I found a ninja, finally. All right. Oh, pff, misclick. Please don't leave. Woo. Yes. All right. Dragon dagger. Nice. All right. I can sell that for a good, like... Probably 8 or 9k. I'm not really sure how much that sells for in the general stores. That's that's just that part. I don't have Elks right now, and I don't really... I'm not planning on getting it right now, so um, I have to sell everything to stores. That's a good drop, though. So I decided to stop a little bit after seeing those Dragon Implings that got me uh, they got me going. So uh, I'm going to just loot these natures that I had, see what we get. Um, oh, three Irrits, one Hairlander, one Snapdragon. We got from the Magpie, and then we got an Eclectic, which gives us a Diamond. Not bad. The deal is I can continue making money there uh, with the Magpies and nin Ninjas, right? But considering I saw two Dragons already, if I had 83 Hunter, I could have grabbed them. Um, I really could have. So I'm going to bite the bullet, guys, and I'm going to go get 83 Hunter. <laughs> Which will make this video even crazier, which I wasn't planning on, but... Yeah, we're gonna get 8300 before we go back and make the money. No! Okay, there's a dragon impling here, guys. Um, look at my map. Over here, there's a dragon impling. I'm 30k away from the hunter level for dragon. Oh, Alright, I need to rush this, I need to rush this. It better still be there. Oh my god, it could be my first dragon. Alright, we just got the 83 hunter. Um, I know this comes as a surprise, because I haven't recorded since 74. I have done red shins nonstop. Like, this is all I've done. Uh, we have a ton in the bank, but uh, that dragon impling, I don't know where it went. I have a friend of mine looking for me to try to find it as well. I really hope I can find it, because I just got debated, man. Oh, that's a disappointment. We, we checked for like 10 minutes. Uh, we could not find it again after I last saw it. Uh, but we did find a ninja, which I'm assuming someone caught the dragon, and then... A ninja spawned in its place. We actually saw another ninja too. Uh, what are we gonna get for the ninja? Please be something good. Oh <gasps> yes! Oh okay that that makes up for it. Rune chain body. Nice. So the good thing about that is um, that that would be like what like 20k coins if I wanted but that is gonna be my best uh, body for melee until I finish Dragon Slayer and uh, if anything I'll probably just use that anyway. It saves me a lot of coins. That's really good. So if I get any duplicates free money there. Now the question is, um, yeah, what the hell happened with Hunter? And if you guys are wondering, the chins took me around 30-ish uh, 30 30 hours of Hunter. I didn't do any tick manipulation. It was just straight hunting. Uh, and then 
we are sitting at we're sitting at 5,300 red shins. So that's going to come in handy for ranging later on. I don't know when we're going to use that. That'll come up later in the series probably. Oh my god, I got my first dragon impling. Finally! All right, after seeing four of them, I could finally get one. Well, that's actually my fifth I've seen. But yeah, first one I caught. I saw it log in and I didn't even turn on the recorder. I'm like, no, 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 you're mine. I'll take any of the bones and I'll take any of the uh, dragonstone ammy or uh, glories. I mean, a dragon long sword's okay. Uh, I'm going for cash right now, but I wonder if it's good just to keep this. All right, I found a second dragon impling. Not too far into my cash deck either, so um, here we go. Ah, the wor that actually might be the worst uh, reward. Those are pretty much useless. Okay, so that, that dragon imp literally was three minutes after the other one. All right, please don't be a shitty one. Dragon stones, all right, I'll take it. That's pretty good. What is this luck? I just got a third one. All right, here we go. That is a really, that actually, arguably the best reward I could get for the late game. Holy shit. Not very good right now, but um, you use those for like Inferno runs. Uh, I think you can use them for Ulm. Super good. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I just banked. What is this luck, guys? He spawned right on me. More Dragonstone bolt tips. Fuck you. This is very soon after the last one. All right. Dragonstone bolts. All right, I just woke up. Got a dragon at like first world. Okay. Um, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, it saves me from buying it later on. Bam. Oh, <gasps> yes! Finally, my first drop that I wanted. All right. Like I said, I wanted to get any of the bone drops and any of the glory slash dragonstone drops. Uh, or dragonstone amulet, sorry. So that's four out of 19 chance. Finally got one. Um, 200 baby dragon bones. Uh, let me go calculate how much this is worth in terms of prayer experience. Good news, guys. I just calculated. This is 42,000 prayer experience if I use it at the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness, right? Because you get double the experience effectively because you save half the bones. Which is even better because that is 43 prayer banked. Don't have to kill dragons for that. Hell yeah. Uh, please give me something good. Six snapdragons. Alright, I'll take it. That's a fuck ton of super restores. Another one. Dragon long sword. Oh, okay. Well, that's a dupe though, so I could sell that to the store. Yeah, okay, it does work. Um I actually didn't realize this. A lot of my items I've been selling, I've been going to other shops. At the West RD General Store, you can sell things for near the elk price uh on your first sell. I think this would go down then. No, it doesn't. On your first item, I guess. So if you have dupes then yeah, you just have to hop. But that's crazy. I didn't I forgot that was a thing. Got another dragon. Here we go. <gasps> yes! Oh, okay, excuse my reaction, but glory! That is the best drop I could have gotten! Oh, yes! Got my glories! So really, um, for Dragon Imps, I'm kind of like done now. I got the glory, I got the 43 prayer banked. Uh, I'm pretty much done with what I like originally wanted. Now I still have 600k coins to go. I will see a lot more Dragon Imps. Oh my god, this account. <laughs> Thank you to RC38 for finding a dragon imp, if I can catch it. Jesus. Okay, thank you, man. During my Puro Puro adventures, he found one for me up here, man. Oh, thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> what a trash reward. Feels bad, man. I just want to say, all the Iron Men are jealous right now. Two rune simmies in one inventory. What the fuck? Hmm. More fucking bolt Oh, we got more glories, basically. Nice! Duplicate glories aren't even that bad, because you can use them for abyss runecrafting, so... I need 68 magic, I think, to uh, charge that. Or not charge that, sorry. Enchant? Yes, yeah, 68, so... Not too bad. Not too bad. We got five in the bank now. Oh, more dragon darts! Nice. I think we have, like... We'd easily have, like, 300 plus. Oh, my god. Oh! Yes! Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's uh, like 38,000 prayer experience or something like that. Damn, dude. This actually might be the last dragon uh, that I get for a long time, at least. At least in Puro Puro. Uh, here we go. And, oh, okay. That's one I haven't seen. So that's actually good because that gives me the dragon dagger that I need later on. Because it is the poison plus plus. The one you get from ninjas, I think, is just poison plus. Which is boring. But the other two I can uh, either save for Alks or get money right now. So pretty good. Pretty good. Now look at that. We have the one mil cash uh, goal completed. 
It took me three days straight of Piro Piro. I had a couple friends also help me, like, scouting for worlds, trying to find some implings, uh, which thank you to them. But uh, as you can see, this is most of the loot. Uh, definitely some highlights in here. We got most of the Mystic gear. Saves me on buying them later on. I got some rune equipment for, like, rune ranging stuff. This will be really good for blowpipe later on, because rune darts are actually really good to make for, like, end game raids and stuff. Got a lot of diamonds for crafting. I also got some high level herbs. So the tour stalls are actually really good because I can use those to get staminas from the Dr. Jekyll random. Same with the Sinister to Keys. That's essentially a guaranteed tour stall plus some extra herbs. So I have 15 tour stalls now. On top of all that, just keep going down the list. We Look at the difference though. Three loop halves, 15 tooths. No idea what happened there. Uh, just I was getting teeth the entire time. No idea why. But um, I can get extra dragon, dragon stones from that. The dragon longsword I'm going to keep. I can use it as a dragon weapon for the simi if I care, but I need that for clues later on anyway. The si the rune scimitar I'll be training. I don't have to kill fire giants now. Uh, I got magic logs. You need a lot for quests as well. Uh, and then for bones. These are about nearly 50 prayer banked. So I do have protection prayers already banked. Never killed the dragon. Easy game. We have 18 prayer pots, which is crazy. A lot of dragon darts for blowpipe later on. We have five glories. And then on top of that... Uh, let's look at our bank. We have 14 rune bars, which come in handy. Come in handy. Some rune, uh, runes here and there. And then look at this. This is the this is the uh, the highlight here. 20 snapdragon seeds. Seven ranar seeds. 36 Highlanders, 48 Herits, um, 50 Aventos, three Quarms, four Torstals. We are so good on herbs. I haven't even been to Winter Todd. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're, we're completely set for herb farming at the start. Got a lot of tree seeds as well. And then we also do have some clue items. And then among other things, like this grind was so worth it, guys. I'd highly recommend getting 83 Hunter so you can do implings. You just get so much resources. And of course, it's not the most efficient cash because I would have gotten way faster really with uh, our agility pyramid or anything really. But And you probably are wondering how many implings we caught. So in the real world, uh, we got one dragon. Uh, thank you to... Uh, that one guy, and then we got two ninjas, seven magpies, so that's pretty pretty good. And then here's the kicker. Oh man, 18 dragons. We got 19 total uh, in about three days, which is pretty good. 51 ninjas, 191 magpies, 382 natures. Yeah, you could expect to do this many if you want that kind of loot uh, for, I guess, one mil cash. Obviously, it's all RNG, but yeah, expect to do a lot of that. Natures are so good. That's where I got most of the seeds. All right, so we made a pretty big mistake, guys. Um... I just bought my 200,000 feathers. That should get me where I want to go. But you can see my cash stack is way lower than it probably should have been. It's because I forgot that lower the stock, the higher the price, right? Once I get down to like 20 each or 500 each instead of 200. I didn't realize that. So for the majority of the feathers, I was just buying at extremely high prices. And I just completely blanked. I wasn't paying attention. So I spent 700k or so on that when it could have been probably like 500. So... Yeah, rip 200k. Oh well. Yeah, we'll get the money back. Alrighty, here we are. Finally at our big fishing grind. If I haven't mentioned already, this is it. This was the original plan for episode one. I did a lot of extra goals on the way, but we can now sit here forever. Oh man. We're back on the Iron Man. So the last clip I ended with, uh, I think, 62 fishing or something like that. A lot has changed. First things first, we have the angler outfit. Got that at 81 fishing. It is finally time. Let's do it. Nice. 99 fishing. He also got it too. My buddy Morning. We were fishing a lot together. Man, he's also an Iron Man. So both of us just got the skill finished. Hell yeah. Obviously, it was just... A quick transition from the 62 but that was like almost two months because obviously i was playing in another account this was afk hell yeah who the hell just interacted with me what the hell anyway 99 fishing i can't get enough of that message hell yeah dude uh what is happening with my character what is happening obviously with the barb fishing you do get agility and strength so we ended up with 74 of each pretty good but that puts us up to 40 combat as well let's go get the cape and this is completely random, but if you haven't already noticed, my name changed. So I'm no longer Iron Blit. I am Nooble Dooble, which I much prefer that name. All right, so I completely blanked while recording. Uh, yeah, you can see that I have 65 cooking. It's way higher than it was. 
And that's because I cut a lot of the fish. Um, you can use a knife to cut the fish and get, like, row in caviar. And um, it gives slight cooking XP. And the uh, you have a chance of getting fishing offcuts, which actually count as feathers. So I saved a lot of feathers that way. I have 39k left over. Nice. I also just realized I'm going the wrong direction. That's what happens when I start talking. But yeah, uh, 65 cooking. Uh, that was about 4 million fishing. A little bit more, maybe. And cutting the fish makes it a bit less AFK. It's really annoying, so... That's why I stopped at 65 and not went all the way to 70. Um, 65 is going to be really good later on. It'll make sense why I stopped at this exact level. And I don't have food. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, it'll be very useful in the future. So I'll be very glad I did that. But all right. So we're at the fishing guild. Let's get the cape. Untrimmed fishing. I've never had this on RuneScape before. Untrimmed fishing. So... Either way, though, if I didn't explain anything, uh, yeah, the main reason I did the 99 fishing off the bat is I was still focusing on the main account, uh, if you guys have seen that series, and I wanted something AFK, and this is actually pretty much the most efficient way to start off an account, especially Iron Man. I get to skip a lot of the early agility and strength levels. Not only that, I mean, this is just a small addition. It does have two teleports. I can teleport to the Fishing Guild, and I can also teleport to Otto's Grotto. The Otto's Grotto one is kind of okay. I mean, I, it can kind of save me games necklaces if I have to get on this side. And it's good for clues, I guess. But the main thing is it's a very quick bank for early game. Like, right here. I'm right next to the bank. That's super nice. I will save a lot on, like, Rings of Dueling and stuff. I'd rather just do this, honestly. Um, save up on the uh, jewelry charges. Well, that is definitely the bombastic ending that I wanted to do for this first episode. Oh, shit, my cat. Uh, good timing, because I was just about to talk about you. All right, so I'm pretty sure I included a clip of me starting cats for death runes. And seeing as the fishing grind was like two months, you can imagine how much cats I did. Look at that. 22,000 death runes. That is going to save me so much cash and time buying runes. Regardless, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I spent so long on this episode, and I hope it was a really good start to the series. From here on out, expect pretty regular episodes of the Iron Man series. And with that, I do stream almost every day. You can catch my progress of the Iron Man live. Come over and say hi. It's a lot of fun. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.